Hey guys, welcome back. This is video number two in making up a column brace for my Grizzly G0704 CNC converted mill. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pre-measuring the place sand. Uh, it's going into the column, then I'm going to pour it out into the bucket, add a little bit of extra sand. Uh, my first attempt at mixing 80% sand to 20% resin uh, was a failure. It uh, hardened too quickly, so I redid it in three small batches. Divided the sand into three equal parts, um, mixed the resin and the hardener, but I mixed the hardener on the low side. So it would have been uh, 10 to 12 drops. I actually put nine drops uh, of hardener in, and that gave me a little bit more working time. Um, and that worked out fine. And again, I would suggest doing this in th three uh, or four batches. Small batches are better than big. Gives you more working time, easier to mix. So... I um, actually changed the ratio instead of 80-20, it was 65-35, and that seemed to be about perfect using just this uh, fine play sand with the Bondo fiberglass resin mixture, both of them available from Home Depot and most local stores. So here I am, I'm drying it out, I put all the sand in the oven, uh, baked it for about an hour at 250 degrees, uh, got the volume of the sand. Uh, here's some video of the first attempt to mix this up which was an absolute failure i did all of the resin i did the full recommended max amount of hardener um, tried to mix in the sand and it just it hardened way too quickly way too soon and again it was a pain to redo everything so i didn't film that process of measuring out the sand again dividing it into three batches after uh, baking it in the oven and then mixing and pouring All right, so that was a pain in the butt. It ended up needing to be about 30 to 35% epoxy with the um, remainder sand. But I do have it filled, and it's cured now, but I'm going to let it dry overnight before I do anything else with it. So, Okay, this thing's all ready to go. I decided against painting it for right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the mill ready, get this thing clamped in place and start marking and drilling the holes. I'm going to try to drill it in place. I think where it's going to drill into the casting won't actually expose the inside where the ball screw is right now to any cast iron dust. So I just want to make sure of that, but I might be able to install this without disassembling the mill, which would be awesome. Okay, I got it shimmed up from my stepper mount, so it's not in contact with it. I just got it clamped in place at the top. So now I can come in and mark where the holes are going to be drilled in the column. Through the spacers. Tap the column for the bolts. Okay, I was really careful. I um, was able to drill and tap this thing in place. So, drilled out, tapped really easily, got the six holes in. Now I'm going to set up an indicator on the front of the head and make sure that when I torque this uh, column brace down that the indicator doesn't move at all because that would indicate that I'm warping the column. If that's the case, I'll have to shim it, but I think that uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Indicator set up on the spindle, dials at zero. I'm just going to smack the top of the head with a mallet a couple times. So, not very scientific, but you can definitely see it dancing around. So, we'll try to bolt the, uh, the brace on and see what happens um, if it moves any. I think it's going to Okay, so with it bolted up, bit, but you'll see in a second a that shot. it did shift by one thou. And I ended up shimming it with some foil uh, adhesive back tape used for HVAC duct. Got it back into spec. Um, redid the machine tram. I actually then installed my head spacer on here. So uh, the next video is going to show the results of installing this column brace and my opinion on whether or not it was worth it. Uh, give you a little spoiler that yes, rigidity improved, chatter reduced, uh, side to side flex 
went away, but it still had some nod. So we're going to cover that in the next video and show you what I'm doing about that. So stay tuned for the next video on this series. Thanks.